I'm glad you could come. No problem. I know it was difficult. I know, the kids. No problem. It sounded urgent. You found someone, did you? What? For the kids. Oh, yes. Honestly, everything's okay. Anyway, Charlotte's not a baby. No. You gonna sit down? Well, I might in a minute, yeah. Judy's at the hospital on night duty. The kids are here, they're upstairs. Uh-huh. I gotta talk to you. It's important. So talk. Yeah. You look a little ragged. What's the problem? It's not about you and Emma, is it? I know all about that. Yeah, so I've been told. Oh, well, it's not very important, is it? It's been over for years, hasn't it? No, it is important. Really? Why? I thought I was going to go crazy. When? This evening, just now, wondering whether to call you. I had to call you. It took me two hours to call you, and then you're with the kids, and I, I thought I was going to be able to see you, and I thought I was going to go crazy. I'm grateful to you for coming. For God's sake, Jerry. Exactly what do you want to say? I don't know why she told you. I don't know how she could tell you. I just don't understand. Listen, I know you got... Look, I saw her today. We had a drink. I haven't seen her for... And she told me, you know, that you're in trouble, the both of you, and so on. And, and I know that, and I, I mean I'm sorry. Don't be. Why not? I mean, fact is, I just can't understand why she thought it necessary for all these years to tell you so suddenly last night. Last night? No, without even consulting me. I mean, without even warning me. I mean, you and I go she back home. She didn't tell me she... last night. What do you mean? I know all about last night. She told me about it. You were up all night, weren't you? That's right. And she told you last night about her and me, didn't she? No, she didn't. She didn't tell me about you and her last night. She told me about you and her four years ago. So she didn't have to tell me again last night because I knew, and she knew I knew because she told me herself four years ago. What? I think I will sit down. She told you? When? Well, I found out. And I told her I found out. And she confirmed the facts. When? A long time ago, Jerry. But we've seen each other a lot over the last four years. I mean, the lunch dates. Never played squash, though. I was your best friend. Oh, yeah, sure. Hey, don't get upset. There's no point. Well, why didn't she tell me? Well, I'm not her, Jerry. Well, why didn't you tell me? I thought you already knew. But you didn't know for certain. I mean, you didn't know. No. Well, then why didn't you tell me? Tell you what? That you knew, you bastard. Don't call me a bastard. What are you going to do? You and I are not going to do anything. My marriage is finished. I've just got to make the proper arrangements, that's all. About the kids. You hadn't thought of telling Judy. 
Telling Judy what? Oh, about you and Emma? You mean she never knew? Are you sure? No, I hadn't thought of telling Judy. You don't seem to understand. You don't seem to understand that I don't give a shit about any of this. It's true, I've hit Emma once or twice, but it wasn't to defend a principle. I didn't do it from any kind of moral standpoint. I just felt like giving her a good bashing. The old itch, you know. But you betrayed her for years, didn't you? Oh, yeah. And she never knew about it, did she? Didn't she? Well, I didn't. No. You didn't really know very much about anything, did you? No. Yes, you did. Yes, I did. I lived with her. Yes. In the afternoons. Sometimes very long afternoons. For seven years. Yes. You certainly knew all there was to know about that, didn't you? About seven years of afternoons. I didn't know anything about that. I hope she looked after you all right. Well, we used to like each other. We still do. I bumped into old Casey the other day. I believe he's having an affair with my wife. We haven't played squash for years. Casey and me used to have a damn good game. Well, he's put on weight. Yes, I thought that. He's over the hill. Is he? Don't you think so? In what respect? Well, his work, his books. Oh, his books, his art. It does seem to be falling off, doesn't it? Still sells. Oh, yes. Sells very well. Good for you and me. Yeah. Someone was telling me the other day, who was it? Must have been someone from the publicity department. That when Casey went up to Westchester to sign his latest book in a bookshop, you know, with Barbara Spring, the people lined up for hours to get his autograph on his book. And then one old lady and her dog lined up to get Barbara Spring's autograph on her book. I happen to think that Barbara Spring is good. Don't you? Yes. Still, we do very well from Casey, don't we? Very well. Have you read any good books lately? I've been reading Yates. Ah, Yeats. Yes. You read Yeats on Torcello once. On Torcello? Don't you remember? Years ago. You went over to Torcello, alone, at dawn, and read Yeats. Ah, uh, yes. So I did. I told you that. Yes. So where are you going this summer? You and the family. Lake George.